Good morning and welcome to the Bama Sea Show. Thanks for tuning in. It was an edge of your seat game at first and had me sweating, but I will leave the details for Bama Sea to discuss. And with that, here he is, Bama Sea. Hey, Bama fans. I thought I was going to go into cardiac arrest watching the first half of the Iron Ball. But thankfully, our defense pulled through and our offense started making plays with Sims not throwing any more interceptions after the three that he delivered to an Auburn defender. I believe it was the same Auburn defender all three times. Two of them were consecutively back to back on both possessions. Let's get to the highlights. Auburn fumbled on their first possession and gave the ball to us. And Yeldon rushed it in to the end zone for a touchdown. Cooper, from the corner of the end zone, makes a catch for a touchdown. And our final score of the first half was Yeldon rushing up the middle into the end zone from the one-yard line for a touchdown. And at the half, we had a score of 26-21 to 21, Auburn. In the second half, Cooper catches a pass from Sims on the one-yard line and runs it in for the touchdown. But... The extra point was blocked. Sims long bombs it from the 25-yard line to the other side of the field to Cooper, who catches it on the 5-yard line and runs it in for the touchdown. That was a single play of 10 seconds long and 75 yards for a touchdown. And that, ladies and gentlemen, is when the momentum leaned our way and stayed with us. Landon Collins makes an interception and takes it to the 31-yard line. And Sims, from the 11-yard line calls his own number, and runs it into the left corner of the end zone for a touchdown. They scored on the two-point conversion, compliments of DeAndre White, and DeAndre White, on another possession, makes a catch in the end zone for one of his own touchdowns. And from the 25-yard line, Henry finds the corner and rushes up the left side of the field into the end zone for a touchdown untouched. When the clock fell to triple zero, we had a score of 55-44, Bama, the highest scoring Iron Bowl in Iron Bowl history. I bet Auburn would have loved to have a second <laughs> to rethink some of their goof-ups. But uh, nonetheless, we enjoyed watching the second half as Auburn began to fail miserably. And then for Malzahn to say, refs took the game from us. Uh, Bama had several penalties that weren't even good calls. And Auburn had several plays that should have had a penalty and didn't. So Gus just needs to keep his mouth shut until he has something intelligent to say. Because that was a brainless comment. Now, on to Atlanta. We are going to the SEC Championship. The Missouri crowd has chant was chanting, We want Bama on their win against Arkansas. So now they get to have Bama. My comment to that, though, is be careful what you wish for, because you might not like the outcome of your request. The game will be on CBS at 3 p.m. Central, as well as right here on ESPN 1400 AM, with the voice of the Crimson Tide, Eli Gold. I hope our defense mops the floor with the Missouri Tigers offense and makes them quit. We will be in the Georgia Dome, which is kind of our second home, and that gives us some leverage to kick some tiger butt. Until my next episode, God bless and roll tide. Thanks for tuning in for the Bama Sea Show. Be sure to tell your friends and family to tune in every Saturday at 6.56 a.m. The Bama Sea Show was created and is written by Daniel Mahon. Remember to visit Bama Sea on Facebook and like his page as well as subscribe to his YouTube channel. Thanks again for joining us. Have a great day and roll, tide, roll.